The more heart we put out, the more heart we put in. These are words from one of my favorite Zen Tenzos, Edward Brown. Mother Teresa said something similar, only in her own language, of course, when she said, when we die and go before God, he will not ask us how many good deeds we did, but how much love we put into what we did do. To bring cooking alive, we give our life, both to ourselves and to those around us, we offer them life on the most basic and simple way that everyone can understand. None of us could be here without food. We need it to live. So in the offering of food, we're offering this person life. But if we look deeper, we find within cooking, not only the preparation of food, but a way to approach life itself, a way to find meaning and depth within life. It offers us a chance to serve with love, to transform something that is so seemingly mundane and ordinary into something sacred. And also it gives us a chance to touch life, to touch something living that is from the universe and allow it to touch us back. When we see cooking in this light, it becomes a true gift, a real concrete expression of love in the world. Our love is no longer abstract. It flows from our heart into our hands, into the food, and then as the people eat, it is absorbed by them. And perhaps here we could see the parallels between tea and food both of these tangible expressions of love from one heart absorbed into another. There are a number of other parallels, obviously, you know, turning something mundane into something sacred. In both, we start by cleaning. Whether it's in the kitchen counters or the tea table, we start from a place of emptiness, washing away the previous meals or tea sessions. We always offer prayer and incense, purifying the space, clarifying the way forward, and stopping in reflection of the honor bestowed on us in being able to serve others. Picking what tea to brew or what meal to cook are actually one and the same. As we start to develop in the practice, we might become inspired by the ingredients or directed by the, the guests or the season, but we have to stay connected to all these elements to really understand what the moment requires from us. Then when it comes to preparing the ingredients themselves, we try to keep the elements simple, clean and balanced. In this way, it's much like laying a chashi. Too often there's too much there, and actually the correct response is to remove something. And once we're done, we step back, and we offer our love to the world around us. And when we start to approach cooking in this way, it's no longer a chore to get done. To get out of the way, but it is the way. It's an opportunity for us to serve life to life with our life. And these are the type of meals that we try and serve around here at the Tea Sage Hut. 
and there's always a bowl here for you. So whether it's cooking or tea, please remember that love is changing the world, bowl by bowl.